Hi guys. I know uh, most of you have used WeTransfer to transfer files to us uh, and have experienced frustration. I myself have uh, been on the road and tried to transfer stuff and had the same frustrations with slow um, uploads and uh, when it gets to the end of the upload it goes whoops we had a problem and you got to start all over again. So. Um, with that in mind, we've uh, developed a, a new system. I've had my IT guys um, build a system that will upload directly to our servers um, using an FTP file transfer protocol. Um, so let me show you a little bit about uh, how it works, or let me show you how it works. All right, so you're going to have to download a free program. Uh, some of you may be familiar with it. So go to FileZilla download. And then let me open that up. Go to download FileZilla client. You want client and not server. So when you click on that, there's three choices. You have FileZilla Pro, FileZilla Select, and FileZilla um, just regular FileZilla. And this is the free download. Just click on that, follow the easy steps, um, and it just takes a couple minutes to set up. All right, now let me show you how it looks. If you go into FileZilla, the left side of the screen over here, um, let me open that up just a hair. Come on. Come on. I guess it doesn't want to open up. Anyway, this is my computer that I'm on right now. This is my laptop, C drive. Um, and then if you go into pictures, that's where my uh, files are located. And then I'm in a subfile right here, this uh, 2019-0803. And then that file has 2,876 photos in it. All right, so to make this thing work, you're going to have to type in my IP address, which is 50.250.162.29. That will never change. That will be the same all the time. And then for the username and the password, um, I will send you a different one every time because it changes. Um, I have a IT guy who's super anal and likes security. So what, what it's going to look like is FTP4. Um, we have 25 different FTP sites set up. Uh, I'll give you a password, which may change. You just plug that in. The port, you leave empty and hit Quick Connect. Okay, You'll see this uh, certificate uh, server certificate it just says it's safe uh, so hit that say yes now here's a little trick you're gonna have to hit where it says FTP4 okay now you're in the program now what you can do is you can drag over one picture and it'll transfer I'm using my phone as a hotspot so it may be a little bit slow Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then when it's done, it, you get this notification that the transfers have, have been finished. All files have been transferred successfully. So what you can do is you can grab one, a hundred, or hit Control A, and it will select all. And you can just drag the entire file over. Okay, and it says, whoops, we've already got that one in there because I just copied this one, so just say okay. Okay, and then the file, uh, it's kind of like Ron Popeil's uh, kitchen appliances, just set it and forget it. So uh, you don't want to close it, but you can minimize it and it'll never bother you again, but you will get a, a notification over here that uh, when it's done that says your files have transferred okay if you want to know where you where you stand it uh, it will show you here that 
three files have been transferred um, and it'll show you all throughout here it'll line them all up now I went to uh, Starbucks to try this on Starbucks's um, site which averages typically most Starbucks will average five to six megabytes per second um, upload speed and I was able to transfer 200 images in nine minutes so um, I know that some of you using WeTransfer you've seen you know that it's going to take 17 hours or 24 hours to copy your files over um, you know the f certainly the faster the the upload speed the uh, faster the transfer but uh, if this stops for some reason in the middle you just pick up where you left off and just drag them over it'll tell you you've already done 50 of them or however many and it'll pick up right where it left off so um, like I say even if you you lose internet for a minute it's not going to make you start all over again like we transfer did so uh, hopefully you like it a lot better uh, hopefully it'll be easier for everybody to use and um, let me know give me some feedback because uh, if it's not what we need then we'll find something better but uh, I think this is going to solve everybody's uh, headaches all right have a good day